Hello everyone and welcome in iStore tutorial. In this video, we will have a look how to pair your mobile device with your iStorp EPOS account. So let's get started. As always, first of all, you need to be logged in iStorp web client. And here, you just go down here to a new icon, which is called apps. Yep, yeah, iStorp have its own apps. And there we go. There is the iStorp mobile application. It's running on both platforms, either iOS or Android, and you can find it in App Store or Google Play. So you just click to download and it will automatically guide you to the App Store of your platform. And the next step is that you have to go in your web client to your menu, to the user menu here on top right corner of the screen. and. Here you should be able to see device synchronization as well as mobile app. Now, what's the difference? It seems like there are two ways to synchronize your mobile device with iSERP account, but it's not that. The thing is that the standard Exchange ActiveSync protocol synchronization is synchronizing messages, calendars, contacts, tasks, and notes. Now, in order to get access to also team chat, conferences, and files and documents, you will need the iSERP mobile application. Yeah? So in vast majority of cases, you'd like to synchronize using both ways, either the device synchronization, here it is, as well as the mobile application itself. Now, for both of them, we created a very easy wizard, which will guide you through the process of pairing your mobile device with your uh, account. So you just start with the device synchronization, click to pair new device. You will select which platform are you using. And that will guide you precisely to the location where you have to go on your mobile device. Yeah? So in case I'm having iPhone, I will just go to settings, then mail, proceed to next. Then here, go to accounts, click next. Click Add Account and choose Exchange, Microsoft Exchange, the second one. Click Next. And here you will place your email address. This is, of course, my own email address, the demo account. So you will have to put there your own, but you will see it actually because uh, it's not a screenshot. It will really guide you with your own email address. Click Next and it will ask you to sign in. And once you will add the credentials and those will be of course correctly entered, uh, then you will be able to see that everything seems to be okay. Click next and now you will just select what type of data you'd like to synchronize. As mentioned before, that will result in messages, contacts, calendars, uh, tasks, this time reminders and notes to be synchronized with your mobile device. Of course, you can turn some of those off or on based on your preferences. And once you're done, you just hit a complete and your account is ready to be used. Now, let's have a look to the second way, not the second way, to, <laughs> to the second application. So I sort mobile. Now in my mobile device, I have those messages, contacts, calendars, and this kind of stuff. And now I'd like to add the extra functionality for uh, team chat, conferences, and uh, files and documents. So in order to do that, I need to have the iSurf mobile application and click to pair. Now, this is the QR code, which you can, of course, just scan uh, with your mobile device. And that will actually guide you the download of the application itself. So let's have a look how it's done. Okay, so now I'm in my mobile and at the same time, you are seeing on the left side, my iSORP EPOS web client. What I'm going to do is that I will go into the camera and that will actually guide me to the QR code. And so I'll click on it and it will open me the App Store with the iSORP application. So I will just click to get and when it's installed, I will just click to open. 
and application is asking me to allow access to the camera. So I'll click OK. So I will now point the QR code and there we go. It's there. So from now on, I am logged in as my account. I can go into a team chat rooms yeah, to the project A, for example. I can go to my conferences. I can see what's upcoming. I can also go to the history and have a look, for example, to my previous recordings. And yes, as I mentioned, not only team chat at conferences, because there is also access to your files and documents. On iPhone, you have to go to your files application and here you will be able to see ISOR with your account. And there we go, list of all folders. Once you will select some of that, you will immediately get access also to your files. So that's how easy it is to pair your mobile devices with iSERP EPOS clients. Yeah. So all you need to do really is just to go to your iSERP EPOS web client and here in the users menu, find device synchronization, where you will see the whole wizard, which will guide you through the interface on your mobile device and how to pair it in order to get access to messages, contacts, calendars, tasks, and notes. And for the rest of the functionality, like team chat, conferences, and documents, you will go then to ISOR mobile app. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, so thank you and see you in another video. Bye.